This is the Florion digital anemometer. A digital anemometer measures wind and temperature. In this case, you can see the features here, wind and speed and temperature, wind range of 0 to 30 is meters per second. <clears throat> temperature range operates in 14 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. It will tell you the current, the max, and the average wind speed reading. And you can set it for different uh, units of measurement. It has an LCD backlight display, so if you do stuff at night, that's nice. And it has an auto uh, power off as well as manual. And this one does include a CR2032 watch battery. And this is so here's the instructions. Always read the instructions. Looks like it's in a bunch of different languages. So you need to find the language that's for you. Um, this, the anemometer comes set for meters per second and Celsius, which is fine if you're using metric. I'm in the United States and I use Imperial. So on the back here, underneath the battery, is a little hole. That is a push pin that you put like a paper clip in and it will change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Then to change <clears throat> your speed reading, you press and hold the mode button for about three seconds, and you see it starts flashing. And then you use set to select. So there's kilometers per hour, feet per minute, knots, miles per hour. So you get that set, and you hit mode. So now it's in miles per hour. Also, in, undergoing going into the mode. You have current, max, average. So that tells you whether it's the the average wind speed, the current wind speed, or the maximum being read for a period of time. So as a quick test, I'm going to blow into it. So you can see I kind of peaked out there around 10 miles an hour. And like I said, this... This mode I'm doing will tell the current wind speed. Turn this off manually, you have to press mode and set at the same time, and it turns off. Because if not, you have to wait 14 minutes for it to turn off. This is the digital anemometer from Florion. Very simple to use, very easy to set up, and very, very straightforward. I'm excited. I like it. I know this is going to come in handy when I'm out in the field and people are like, well, how windy is it? Well, we can just... Pull this up and look at it instead of having to rely on uh, a mobile data plan for something like the local forecast.